Hello everyone and welcome to your Soul Nourishment Weekly Message. I am Christine, your Mind and Body Empowerment Coach. Thank you for stopping by my channel. It's been a little while since I've put up one of these videos, but I've been missing it, so I decided to pop on today and, and make a quick video for you all. So I'm actually gonna be focusing on intuitive eating today, um, which right here, you can check that out. I'll put this in the description box down below. Um, so the intuitive eating card deck was formulated based off of a few different books that were written by Elise Raish and Evelyn Triboli, the creators of the 10 principles of intuitive eating. And basically these are all principles that have been designed to help you create a more peaceful relationship with food, with your body and with yourself. So if you're interested in learning more about that, of course, uh, you can go check out these cards. Like I said, I'll put those down in the description box below. Um, you can also check out their different books that they've created. Um, Evelyn just made uh, or came out with a fairly new book this past March, which I absolutely love. I think it's like 365 days of intuitive eating or something like that. Um, but anyway, these cards are really awesome because they really break down the principles with very easy, doable, practical um, little steps and things to keep in mind that you can just kind of break out day by day. And it just, it just kind of keeps you sort of on track and aware of how you're thinking and, and the choices that you're making and all this kind of stuff. So it, it really, like it says, 50 bite-sized ways to make peace with food. So they're just a really easy way to um, keep yourself in a good place with food and like I said, with your body. So I'm gonna pull a card from here and then I'm gonna clarify with a few tarot cards because why not, right? Might as well get some more info, see where we're all at. And uh, I'm gonna finish us off with a quick message of inspiration here with my little mini inspiration cards. So I'm gonna quickly, I already shuffled, so oh, there we go, well, that was quick. All right, here we go. Thank you, universe. So we have from principle number seven, cope with your feelings with kindness. Okay, seek nurturing activities. Feeling nurtured can allow you to feel comfort and emotional warmth, which can increase your resilience. Make time for nurturing activities such as watching a sunset or sunrise, resting and relaxing, spending time in nature, listening to enjoyable music, or playing with pets. What else might you try? Okay, so this is, it's funny because this makes sense. Today, for the first time in a long time, I actually decided to take my computer outside. It isn't humid here today in New Jersey and it's just really beautiful. The sun's shining bright. There's a nice light breeze and I said, you know what? I'm gonna go sit outside and do my work. And I hardly, hardly ever do that. Um, but it just felt so nice to just be outside, be in nature and feel the, you know, feel the air, the fresh air and the, and the breeze and just like hear the birds chirping and, let, and, and just smelling the, the beautiful summer air. It was just really nice to connect like that because I don't usually do it. I'm usually inside sitting down, you know, the room's all dark and whatever, and I'm in the house and it's kind of dreary. Um, so it was nice to be outside. So, um, and it did, it, make, it made me feel lighter. It made me feel more refreshed when I came back inside. So that's kind of funny that this card came out. Um, so this is saying like, how, what things can you start to do to really nurture yourself um, and really just honor yourself in ways that you might not normally think of. And it could be something simple like that, just going outside in nature for a little while. Uh, like this says, watching a sunset, listening to some music, um, especially if you are somebody who, um, you know, does tend to struggle a little bit with your body or with food. If you're dealing with some sort of distorted relationship with one or the two, um, it's easy for your emotions and feelings to kind of get a little out of whack because, well, it's kind of stressful, right? It's kind of, it depends on, everybody's got a different situation going on, but it can be very stressful. You have a, be experiencing a lot of uncomfortable emotions and feelings around the two, like I said, and um, sometimes we don't know what to do with them, and hence the reason we sort of end up with a distorted relationship with food, right, to begin with, because we have all these emotions and feelings and we don't really know what to do with them. And if you are somebody who is on the journey of trying to better your relationship with the two, that can also be stressful because a lot of things start coming up and we kind of go through different phases that can feel a little bit uncomfortable at times, um, because we're doing something differently, right? We're, we're, we're going from this somewhat toxic relationship with our body and with food, and we're trying to get to a more peaceful place, but there's a lot of things, there's a lot of moving parts that happen in the middle that can make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. So it's really great to have these um, activities in place, these outlets in place, these coping strategies in place to really help you, um, like I just said, cope with some of those uncomfortable um, emotions and things um, and the changes that you're going through, okay? So I'm gonna pull out some tarot here. I already, again, shuffled, but I'm gonna do a couple more shuffles really quick, and then we will clarify. 
just to get a deeper message from the universe and what do we need to focus on you know it's you know just any other vital information or advice that could help us on our journey oops currently and obviously right now we know we're being asked to allow ourselves to find some sort of um, activities or outlets that are really nurturing and just gentle and kind to ourselves to our soul um, to our bodies hearts and mind of course the whole package <laughs> I'll just do one more shuffle here so spirit if you could just clarify this beautiful card here seek nurturing activities can you tell us anything else we might need to know around this card any other information I'll just clarify with a few cards here any other helpful information that you might have for us whoops Or words, words of wisdom or advice, I should say. We'll just pull a few. Oops. Oh, goodness. Well, I think we got our few. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, this is very interesting. Actually, but it's not. It is and it isn't. So, we got the moon, we got the three of pentacles, and we got the tower. So, first of all, the moon speaks very, very much to our emotions, right? Our feelings and our emotions. So I find it very interesting that this card came out because I feel like this is kind of the universe sort of validating once again that yes, it's time to tap in to our emotions and really honor them and nurture them and just give them the love that they are being asked uh, to receive, okay? Because Yes, some of these things might be coming up and they're making you uncomfortable, but they're coming up for a reason for you to work through them and heal through them and to release and transmute them, right? Because eventually you are going to get to that place where you do feel more peaceful um, with your body and with food. So I love that that card came out. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is all about, you know, it is about putting in the work. Um, it's also about collaboration and teamwork. So I do find that interesting. And I'm wondering if maybe the advice here is to, you know, get some friends together and, you know, when you're really struggling, find somebody that you can go hang out with or go plan some sort of fun activity with, or um, this might even represent like a support group or, you know, some a group online, or um, it could even be um, like a therapist or a coach or something like me or something like that, you know, just seeking out help. Um, or it could just be friends, right? Let your friends help you. Um, ask for assistance when you're going through a bit of a tough time. Sometimes just picking up the phone and calling a friend is enough to help you get through a tough time. It doesn't have to be you doing some sort of activity, though it certainly could be, okay? And then finally, we have the tower card, <laughs> which is really interesting. So I feel like, you know, the tower typically could be um, like a shocking moment or some sort of shocking revelation. Um, it doesn't have to be external. It could be, could just be an internal shift. And so what I'm thinking is maybe for you, this is something very new. This whole idea of coping with your emotions um, maybe is a little foreign to you. So perhaps really facing them or, or working through them, I should say, and then, you know, maybe asking for help, that all might be something new for you. Um, so when you actually do that and you take advantage of that, um, it might feel a little shocking, okay? It might shake you on your, you know, at your very core, at your foundation, like, whoa, I'm not used to asking for help. I'm not used to really working through and dealing with my emotions. Typically, I just turn to food and I try to bury my emotions or I, you know, maybe you do the opposite. Maybe you, you know, get rid of your food, you know? I'm just gonna say it, it goes both ways. So um, perhaps now that you're attempting to do something different, it's gonna feel very foreign and very shocking and very like, whoa, this is different. This is a big change for me, but it's a really, really good change and it's a necessary change, especially if you're trying to make peace with food, with your body and with yourself. So you have to break down the false foundation before you can rebuild on a solid foundation. And I feel like this is a very, very important step to that. We can't just continue to do what we've, what we've always done, which is shove down those uncomfortable emotions and those uncomfortable feelings. We need to really figure out ways that we can process them and work with them rather than against them. And it very well may be asking for help, assistance, guidance, or just your friends to come and hang out with you so that you guys can just kind of like let loose and have fun and forget about, forget about life for a while. <laughs> but anyway, so very interesting cards and I'm just gonna finish off here with a few, uh, a few words of inspiration. So, whoop, and there it is. And hold on, it fell on the floor. Okay, 
This is your moment, yes! Oh my goodness. I know that's backwards, but this is perfect. Okay, yes, this is your moment, friends. Yes, this is absolutely your moment. It is time, it is time to cope with your feelings and emotions with kindness, like the card says, principle number seven, all right? It is time to allow yourself to go through this change, okay? This is a change, the tower is a change, and like I said, it doesn't have to be external. It, I mean, if you really think about it, inner transformation always precedes outer transformation. So when you change yourself on the inside, it's going to be reflected to you in your reality anyway. Um, but clearly the universe is saying, now is the time for you to really work on doing things differently and really honoring yourself and nurturing yourself like never before because that's what's really going to help move you and help you progress forward on this journey toward more peace, more acceptance, more freedom with food, with your body, and with yourself, most of all, okay? And I mean, that is self-love, right? That is self-love, that is self-worth, that is self-care. It's all those good, fluffy, beautiful things, right? So definitely consider reaching out for some help if you so desire. Of course, you can always reach out to me. That's what I do. I am a coach. I am a mind and body empowerment coach. So I help women specifically work through issues regarding food and their body. So if you are looking for some help, definitely reach out. My email is down in the description box below. I also have a free group that I would love for you to join if you so desire. Um, but like I said, it could also just be your friends um, that you reach out to or some source, some support group online or in person or whatever the case might be. So anyway, this is your moment. Definitely, you know, honor that and follow that and, um, don't doubt it, okay? I know it's not easy, I know it's hard, I know from experience, but if you just trust in the process and you believe in yourself, uh, magic can happen. You just have to keep moving forward, even though it feels uncomfortable and sticky sometimes, you just, you just gotta keep moving forward. So anyway, I hope that you found this helpful. Come back again next week for your Soul Nourishment Weekly message. Until then, take care, bye.